For over a year now, we've all been dealing with the coronavirus, which has infected so many people and killed so many around the world. And now the news is flooded with the emergence of new variants, which raise a whole load of new questions. All viruses are programmed to survive, and coronaviruses are definitely no exception. They mutate, they change their genetic code to escape threats particularly. When a virus has mutated, we're likely to call it a variant. They are all the same coronavirus, they are just slightly mutated versions, and we now have several variants of the coronavirus that we're troubled about. These mutations can emerge from anywhere at all, and there is a tendency to call these variants by the name of the place where they originated. The South African variant. The UK variant. The Brazilian strain. Countries around the world seem to just be scrambling, trying to keep up and stay ahead of these variants. Ministers said a new variant of coronavirus is out of control. The variants that we've seen tend to have some changes to the spike protein that we've heard an awful lot about. It acts as a sort of key that allows the virus to get into the human cell and start to cause trouble. All the vaccines that we have at the moment, and most of those in the pipeline, target the spike protein. That induces the immune system to produce antibodies. If in the variant strains that spike protein is changed, then the antibodies that the immune system produces in response to the vaccine just might not work. Each of these variants is different. What we're seeing is that they are more transmissible on the whole than the original virus that came out of Wuhan. And in some cases, it may even be that they are more deadly. You've got to pay attention to it because it's evolving. The variant that emerged in Kent appears to be something like 50% more transmissible and maybe more. That seems to mean that a lot more people are going to be infected there has been alarm at the possibility that this variant could be more deadly. The UK government's chief scientific advisor, Sir Patrick Vallance, said that instead of killing 10 people in every thousand in their 60s with the virus, this variant might actually kill 13 or 14. But he and other scientific experts have said that it is too soon to be sure about those numbers. The data is very preliminary. And there's a lot of caveats around the announcement that the United Kingdom made the other day about this. It's science in real time. And we also have a lot of treatments now that we didn't have in the first wave of coronavirus. And people are surviving who wouldn't have done at that time. The vaccines are going to protect us and they are most definitely part of the long-term solution to this pandemic. They may have to be tweaked from time to time to keep up with the variants and we may all have to have booster shots. At the moment, scientists are most concerned about the variant that has emerged from South Africa. And that is because there are a lot of mutations in that particular variant. It is possible that the vaccine won't work as well in people who have that variant. But the very good news is that already the vaccine manufacturers are working on ways to tweak their vaccines to make sure that they do. It really doesn't take very long at all to make that sort of tweak. There will be slightly more delay, however, because it's got to be trialled, at least to some extent, in human beings to make sure it's safe and works as it must. And obviously we need most people, if not all people in the world to be vaccinated. And we won't get shot of the pandemic until everybody is protected. There's no easy fix for protecting ourselves against these variants. We just have to do exactly what we've done until now, which is keep our distance from each other, wear face masks, wash our hands, all the usual things. Scientists think that there will be no end to the emergence of variants. This is what viruses do, after all. They evolve in order to survive. But we are getting better treatments. We are going to tweak the vaccines. And there's no doubt that we will adapt.